ask Tom on home show. Vishal from Points Unknown has a question about flickering lights, and I have no idea where Points Unknown is. Well, it's because what happens is when people send in their questions to us, Tom, I, I use their zip code to kind of divine where they are. Yeah. That way we can make sure their questions are relevant to where they live. So that's the idea. So here's here we go with Vishal. So what's We're, the point? He didn't have a zip code? He had three digits in his zip code. I'm good. I'm not <laughs> oh, I didn't good. know that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so here's his question. He says, when I turn on the vacuum, the lights initially flicker, but go back to normal brightness. If I had a computer connected to the same outlet as the lights using a power strip, would this cause any damage to the computer? What say you? Well, I, I'm going to lead off, and then, Charlie, I want you to add a little bit, too, because you're the guy that owns Mosier Media with all the equipment and all the protective, protective gear and stuff you have on there, as well as I do on my studio at home, which is a lot smaller scale. But a light strip or, uh, you know, you plug in all those different plugs, that is not a surge protector. A surge protector is a different device. It might have uh, enough outlets for four or five or six, maybe even more, uh, different pieces of equipment or different things you want to plug in. But as far as that goes, you want to make sure you have a, a surge protector next to your devices in your home and everything should be protected. But this question isn't, that really isn't a point all that stuck to me because people get the two mixed up. They think if they have a bar with a bunch of plugs in there that it's a surge protector and it's not. But it seems to me because when it happens, it's your vacuum cleaner I would see if another vacuum cleaner, maybe a new one, maybe a neighbor's, maybe you have something else around your home. If you plug it in and it's, that's the only thing doing it, it might be time for a new vacuum cleaner. It's that simple and you won't get that flickering because what might happen is, is that vacuum cleaner is very old and it has a motor, as you know, like a refrigerator, a freezer, an air conditioning system. When those motors get old or they start to get damaged over time, the startup on them is so strong that they, use, they pull in a lot of electricity to get going. And that causes that uh, initial dimness of things around it. And that means it might just be time for a new vacuum cleaner. It could be. It yeah. could be. I like but, your advice about as far trying another as, vacuum cleaner. Uh, I think that's a great idea. Um, yeah. I mean, I, I want to rule out, I always want to rule out the simple mm -hmm. before we get into the complex. I'm just saying, oh, well, you need to rewire your house. And then we find out it's a vacuum cleaner for $89. That's not a good thing. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, QVC, well, buy some great vacuum cleaners. But as far as that goes, all right. now, hold on. Uh, Charlie, now, we'll, on your equipment, explain yeah, let me the difference say, between that. L l yeah, th yeah, because a power strip is not necessarily yeah. a surge suppressor. You'll, you'll find a lot of them that are marketed out there will have like lots of plugs, maybe even a little indicator or something on there. But that may not be a surge suppressor. Really, the best bet to make sure you have a surge suppressor is to use one that has a battery backup on it. Because when you run things through a battery backup, that battery actually acts as a, a, a default surge suppressor in a way and protects your equipment even better. Because you'll find on most of them, there's a plug on, there are plugs on the bottom that are just filtered through the surge suppressor, and there are ones that are protected on the battery. By the way, if you have a laptop with a battery, do not ever plug it into the battery one because that's not, it won't work. It's, it's a bad program. I'll just leave it at that. But I'll tell you this about that, Tom. Will at Right Touch, our, our Home Show Pro electrician, told me that most surges happen inside the house. That's where, and, and like you were saying, it could be the, the washing, it could be a washing machine, uh, the refrigerator cycling, the air conditioner, um, or even um, another appliance. Like the vacuum cleaner that you say inside. What's inside? You and the vacuum cleaner. So I would tell this gentleman if he gets this, Test out the vacuum cleaner. Get a new one or borrow one from somebody that doesn't do that and see if it does the same mm -hmm. thing. Or just or just sweep instead. <laughs> yeah, fine. Yeah, sweep <laughs> instead. Yeah, I'll tell you, we have one of those Roomba, <laughs> one of those robot vacuums. Yes. And it doesn't surge suppress. I mean, that thing, it's, it's amazing. It's, you can't believe that little thing does as much cleaning as it does around the house, but it is an amazing device. Well, it may, funny you mentioned that because I'm taking one down to my other residence down in mm -hmm. Brownsville next week. Yeah. I'll, I'll let you know how it works. It's kind of scary to it, me. No, they work, they work really well. <laughs> once once they're trained, they once they know where to go. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> but but you don't have a pet. We have pets, and no. uh, not to get too far off here, but we have <laughs> yes. pets, and so we have to empty that thing pretty darn regular. Uh, All right. But you know, we also under empty pretty regular our inbox. When you send us questions at homeshowradio.com, click on that Ask Tom button over there, and you'll come to this page where you can either use a form to send in your question, or you can also send us a video question. Either way, we'll answer it. 
uh, in a video just like this and we post a new one every day to our YouTube channel, our Facebook page, and of course, homeshowradio.com.